and welcome to the Mint Report. This is our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. Barty Airtel posts a decline in quarterly profit. Tata Motors will install extra safety features in Nano's already sold. And markets end the day in the red. We start with Barty Airtel. The African operations of India's biggest phone company have dented its quarterly numbers. Net profit fell 27 percent in the second quarter to 1,661 crores. Its revenue shot up 47 percent to more than 15,000. Earlier this year, Barty bought Zane Telecom's African assets for about $9 billion. And while African operations have eaten into Barty's profits, they're also responsible for the spike in revenue. Indeed, the company says it will invest another $800 million in Africa. It's also likely to launch its new branding for the continent next week. Stocks of the company lost 1.77 percent on the BSC on Wednesday to close at about 328 rupees. And in other news, Tata Motors has offered to install new safety features in nano cars already sold. The company said the features will provide extra protection in the car's exhaust and electrical systems. It also said this did not constitute a recall. At least six Tata Nanos have caught fire since the car was launched in March of last year. Tata will install the new safety add-ons for free if customers decide they want them. Meanwhile, stocks of Tata Motors shot up more than 6 percent in early trade on the BSE, only to lose ground later and close with a more modest gain of 2.5 percent. The stock was driven up by better-than-expected quarterly numbers released on Tuesday. And moving on, the India industry for fast-moving consumer goods is expected to grow at a healthy pace this year. A report from industry body CII says the FMCG sector should grow 13 percent in the year ending March. The report also said a host of regional players had emerged, challenging the dominance of the big companies. Growth in India's FMCG sector has been driven by a healthy monsoon and overall economic growth. CII says the sector will also be helped along if the proposed goods and services tax becomes a reality. And finally, Indian bourses fell on Wednesday after a poor showing from global markets and Barty's mixed numbers. The Sensex lost 57 points to close at 20,876 and the Nifty shed 26 points to end the day near the 6,300 mark. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.